Hello, in this video I will show how to compile PostgreSQL for Windows 64-bit from source. We will uh, first clone the Git repository locally. We will uh, switch to a specific tag. In this case, it would be the uh, tag for release 9.5.0. Then we will compile the code and then we will run the executable to make sure that everything works correctly. So. The first thing you need to do is to make sure that you have MCS2 with MingW64 installed. I already showed how to do it exactly in a previous video, so I will post a link to that. And now what we want to do is to make sure that we have all of the required um, utilities and libraries. So in order to make sure, we will use the package manager pacman to download only the needed, meaning whatever we don't have installed uh, for Git, MingW64 GCC, which is the GNU compiler collection, and BaseDevel, which is a package that includes utilities like Make and libraries like Bison and Flex, which are required uh, for PostgreSQL. So it asks me which packages I want to download to install and the default is all and that's what I want so I'll just hit enter and in this case there is nothing to do because I already have everything installed so the next thing to do is to clone the git repository and the directory structure we'll use would be that we'll have a build subfolder under C and in it we'll have a Postgres subfolder. We will download the Git repository into a source subfolder of that, and then we'll have a directories build and dist for the specific tags that we will compile. So I already have the build subdirectory so I'll just switch into that and I will make the Postgres actually I can make also the build subdirectory and I can cd into that actually I want to cd into the Postgres folder only um, so now we will use git to download a git repository from git.postgresql.org and the command for that would be git clone we post the URL and we specify that we want it in the source subfolder So now you can actually see that Git created the source subfolder and it will download all the sources into it, which is what we want. This can take a, a few minutes, so I will uh, likely pause the video and resume at the end of this process or maybe just fast forward. Okay, so now uh, git cloned the repository locally. Let's switch into the source folder. And let's check out the 9.5.0 release tag. So what I will do is I'll set a variable named real. And then I'll say git checkout rel. Okay, great. So now the head of the git repository is at 9.5.0. So the next thing to do would be to um, let's switch into the build folder and we'll create a directory 
for that release and then switch into it okay so now I will create a couple of more variables the first one would be for the source directory which will be C builds Postgres source and I will create a variable for the dist for a distribution directory dist uh, which will be C builds Postgres dist and then the release variable which would be rail 950 make sure we at the correct folder yes so now what we want to do is run configure make and make install in the build directory specifying the source directory and the distribution directories so to do that we will run uh, source slash configure we'll specify the target host machine uh, platform which is uh, windows 64 and we'll specify the distribution directory to where we want the binary files to be saved. So if this completes successfully, we'll also run make. And if that completes successfully, we'll write run make install. Now this process is even lengthier. It can take easily on this machine 15 to 20 minutes. So I will just let it run and continue at the end of this process. Okay, great. So now you can see that uh, the make install process created our dist directory and in it the release directory so this is the directory that you would uh, package or zip up and distribute so in this case what we're going to do now we will want to uh, test it we don't need mingw anymore so we will copy the binaries from the distributed uh, distribution directory and I will move it I will copy it to my apps folder and simply rename it to Postgres 95 I think actually PG SQL 95 is the more common standard and now I'll open a regular command prompt I'm using conemu just because it's so much better than regular command prompt, but it's pretty much the same. And I will go here to C apps PG SQL 95 and actually to the bin directory, which is this one. And as you can see here, you have the Postgres executable Postmaster, the PG control, initDB, and all of the utilities that you need. So now I will create a data directory. The command for that would be initDB. I'll specify the data directory as sql slash data slash pg data 95 and set the default username to Postgres. I also set here the authorization to be trusted since it's a development uh, machine, so it really doesn't matter. So this creates the data directory. In the meantime, I can, in the other console window, I would switch also to C apps 
pg sql bin okay so now we can just uh, follow the instructions here to to call pg control with the data directory that we specified and start I actually don't want to use the log file because I want the output here on the console right now. So let's do this like that. And now in the other console, we can just run PSQL in the bin directory. And I need to specify the username to be Postgres. And now I can just do something like select version and you can see that the version that's running is 9.5.0 on Windows 64 compiled with the Ming WGCC so that's it I hope that this will save you a lot of time because it was uh, quite painful for me to figure out the process but now that I figure it out it's a very smooth process and uh, I hope that uh, it will help you